Today we're going to be taking apart a shaft, uh, taking apart a gearbox to replace shafts. Uh, these are the tools we're going to need. Large uh, punch, a 532 punch, a whole uh, a punch to mark on the sh truck shafts, pliers, file, hammer, crowbar, mallet. This is a 332 Allen, cheater bar, 1 8 Allen, 3 16 Allen, just a large Allen. We got some scissors and we got two thou shim. We got six uh, screwdriver bits, a flat plate to check the height of the trucks and an aluminum striking bar to check and adjust the concentricity of the screwdriver trucks. Here we're going to identify if there's a problem internally. Here what you're going to do is you're going to, drive, you're going to spin the main drive, hold on to the trucks, and if it stops, it's working pro properly. If this happens, you know, we know that there's an issue with an idler gear. From this point, in order to remove, to disassemble this gearbox, we'll need to remove these checks. The first step is to remove the 1032 set screws. These ones are already out for video purposes. From the next point, what we need to do is to drive out these 532 roll pins. At this point, We'll need to remove these chucks. They can be a little seized. So what you do is you use a pry bar, leverage against the vise, or the gearbox is okay. At this point, the holes, there's a burr around these holes that will interfere with removing the shafts, hitting the, the bearings on the inside. At this point, we'll need to deburr the holes. That way it can be removed easily. From here, what we'll do, let's flip it over and remove these 3 16 screws so we can disassemble the box. Here we have old grease that will need to be cleaned out just in case there's any metal shavings that could interfere with a new assembly and create a new jam. So from here we have the box open. We'll need to remove the truck shafts. If you have trouble, you can grab the mallet, give it a little tap.
pull it out. The next step would be to punch out these 532 roll pins. I'm going to show you on the vise how to do it, go from there. From here, we have the chuck tightly in the vise. What we're going to do is we're going to punch out the roll pin. Remove the gear. Put in a new shaft. Reapply the gear. Line it up. This is a 532 by 3 quarter roll pin. Use the larger punch. And try to get it in the middle. For video purposes, normally the gearbox, you would, you would clean up all the old grease, clean up all the gear shafts, that way it's clean of all the old grease just in case there's any metal shavings that can create a problem. But for video purposes, we're gonna leave it as here. You would install the new shafts, mesh it up with the other gears, and then from there you would apply fresh grease. And then, then close up the box and then move forward from there. From here, to close up the box, we'll grab two steel blocks. That way the aluminum box can rest it, rest, and there's clearance for those chucks. And grab the other half. Again, clean the grease out. Line up the top and the bottom, identified by the 1032 holes on the sides. Give it a tap on the sides and then reinstall these bolts. When you tighten up the box, you're going to make sure that lays flat on each side, or if you can't get it perfect, split the difference. That way it can sit properly. For video purposes, we're using a, a different box, ones that have fresh chucks on them. At this point, if we'll need to make sure that all the chuck shafts are down, so what we'll do is hit it a couple times, make sure they're set from there, then we'll add the old chucks. Make sure they're sitting flat. We'll tighten just one of the set screws. We'll tighten the other side, but for video sakes, we won't. From there, we'll grab the six screwdriver bits. We'll grab our flat plate and what we're doing is we're testing to make sure that all bits are at the same height that way there's no inconsistencies of when the screw is being applied. Well this is a 2000 sh uh, shim 
we'll do a little check the bottom. If it doesn't go through, that's perfect. If, if you can pass it through, there's a gap. And what we'll do, we will need to cut a small circle out of this 2000 shim, remove the chuck shaft, put it in between there, close it and retest to, to where we are, there's, where there's no more gaps. So the next step, once you have these where you like them, the next step is to, to roll pin these new shafts, but you don't want to use these old holes just because they might be wallowed out and not, they won't hold the chuck 100%. So the next step would be to add new holes. Aim for the middle. You're gonna do, you can put it in the vise and then you use a 532 drill bit and drill all the way through. From there, you would add a 532 by 5 eighths roll pin. We won't do it in this video for video's purpose sake, but that is the next step. The next step is to make sure that these trucks spin perfectly around, as we will do. We'll clamp up the gearbox, the vise, that way it doesn't go anywhere. We're gonna chuck up this power drill on to this main drive, be mindful of this keyway and where the chuck will sit on here. I've already marked on this drill the spaces. Tighten it up. We'll spin it. We're gonna look and see where it bounces. Uh, for for uh, what we're gonna do is you mark it at the high spot when it spins, and that's what will tell us where to strike it so it can even them out. So right here, looks to be about the high spot. So here, you can see that the faint high mark, what it is, I've made a, a much clearer mark so we can see where it is. Use the aluminum strike bar. We're gonna hit it on this base and not this knurled sleeve. Hit it here, strike it, and then check it again. So this one looks pretty good. This one, it can use an adjustment. For the final step, what we'll do is we'll reattach the Lovejoy. We'll add this key stock. Try to get this key stock to sit flush with the main drive. We'll add in the love joy. All right. If the love joy can gives you trouble, you can do is put a piece of wood, just tap it in. I'm, I'm looking to check to see if it's flush with the shaft. If it goes a little bit below flush, Kind of pry it up a little bit. Grab our one eighth Allen key. 
tying up the set screw that's in here. Use our cheetah bar to get it tight. And then we'll add this second set screw. Once this is tight, this is ready to go and can move on to the next step of being installed onto the machine.